here we are in my kitchen. Today, I'm gonna to be teaching you how I veganize a normal recipe. Very exciting. <laughs> I'm getting hungry, it was the end of my day. I'm ready to cook. I'll show you how I take a normal recipe and turn it into a vegan one. Before we get started <laughs> cooking, a few things to keep in mind if you're looking to veganize a recipe yourself at home. Um, first things first, don't pick a recipe that has a lot of dairy or meat. It doesn't translate well when you're trying to make a vegan version of it. It's not gonna taste quite the same or what you're looking for. Look for something that has a couple easy substitutes that you can put in. Here, I picked this recipe because it only had a little bit of dairy and one meat item that I needed to replace. Next tip is don't be afraid to make substitutions if you need to. In this video, you'll see that I didn't have all of the ingredients listed on the recipe, but I really, really wanted to make it and try something similar. So I went with what I had in the fridge and the freezer. If the taste and the texture is similar, the substitutions will, will not change the recipe too much. So here I substituted out regular pasta for wheat pasta and spinach for kale. Easy substitutions like that won't change the intention of the recipe. So go ahead, make some substitutions. Do a Google search if you're not sure what would work. All right, now that we've got that out of the way, I think we're ready to cook. Today we are making pasta with butternut sauce, spicy sausage, and baby spinach, but we're making it vegan. So right off the bat here we have our ingredients, we're calling for chicken Italian sausage, butternut squash, whipped butter, pasta, shallots, garlic, baby spinach, parmesan, and sage. So this is a normal recipe out of a book I gave my friend for her birthday. Happy birthday, Chelsea! Um, I was flipping through the book and I said, I can veganize this. This should be easy enough to make vegan. So here is how I do it. So this is what I will be using in place of the sausage. I have Gardein's Classic Meatless Meatballs. We're gonna make this recipe with whole wheat spaghetti. Here I've got some frozen kale and butternut squash. Step one is to boil the butternut squash for 20 minutes. So we've got some time. I'm gonna cook out the meatless meatballs with some canola oil, just a little. That is for tender. Time to remove. Get the water boiling so that you can add your pasta. I need spaghetti to be very long, so I will bring it in half. While all of that is cooking, it's time to blend up your butternut squash. We will cook our garlic for five to six minutes. And then I have been working on smashing up the meatballs to make them more of like a sausage consistency. And soon we'll take our pasta out and we'll be ready to start putting this together. So we have our garlic cooked, we have ensured that we take our reserved pasta water, and we have our whole wheat spaghetti just about ready to go. We have our smashed up meatballs and butternut puree. That will be made into sauce in just a moment. Ooh, steamy. All right, so I have scraped the butternut squash out of my blender. I don't have any shallots or onions, so we're just gonna add a little bit of onion powder and get some of that flavor into this sauce that we are making. I like a lot of onion. I feel like onion and garlic powder are a vegan's best friend. All right, next I will add some salt and pepper and then the reserved pasta water. Oh. 
yeast flakes or nutritional yeast in place of Parmesan. Give it a little bit of a cheesy flavor to your sauce. I really like it, so I'm going to add it in. And we'll add a little bit of sage. I don't have any fresh sage, so we'll use this rubbed sage. And stir. While I let the sauce reduce a bit, I added the kale and let that cook down. And then I added the pasta and the meatless meatballs, mixed everything together. And here we are, the vegan version of the butternut squash pasta with sausage and spinach. That is how you veganize a normal recipe.